but I have to change the oil in my truck. I have to move the inspection cover on the transmission and see where it's leaking. Is it leaking from the torque converter? Leaking from the torque converter pump seal? Leaking from the torque converter bushing? I do not know, but I want to know where it is because I got to bring it back to the transmission shop. But it's like 97 degrees outside. I gotta move all this, well it's not that much, it was more or less, we gotta move all that sh freaking shit over there to get the garage door open, move a car, put this car in here, find a spot for another car, then when I'm done, move that car, move the truck out, put the car back in, move all that shit back over there, and is it really worth it? Fuck it. I won't even change my damn oil. How about that? Just get tired of the same old shit. Anyone else would feel like that? Bullshit where you gotta go there to do a stupid task. I have a lot of little um, parts in my hoard pile. Mostly they're all in this toolbox. It's been a real, real mess to go through for many, many years. And I've been wondering, hey man, how the heck can I clean this shit up? So these little, um, look at all this shit. So these little plain old boxes were on sale at Wally World, so we got a couple of these things. And now we're just kind of organizing our toolbox. See, all these fuses were all in bags, look terrible. So now, boom, fuses. Awesome. All these little vacuum things and whatnot, and fuel line stuff. We still have more shit we can round up. Little plugs and whatnot. But again, it's all thrown in bags. Bad. Crappy. So, now I need fuses. Boom, right there, man. No digging through bags, dumping them out. I need a 10 amp. Boom, got a 10 amp, so. That just saves time in the hot, humid climate. But in order to do this, you have to put in time. That's just the deal, you know? They get organized, it takes time. It's like, what the hell is this? All little clips and speed nuts and shit. We did that yesterday. Freaking awesome. All this is like random hardware. We can probably go do that. Hey, tell it. Uh, like, I think like clips. Clips are going to do one. Like body clips, door panel clips. We're going to do that next. And, um... Yeah, like, what the fuck is this shit? More clips, so you get all these things, put them in one of those, just, so, it's nice. Switches we can probably do. And then, maybe one day, when we ever clean out this toolbox, so let's be in little things, and boom, done. If I ever find a nicer toolbox, I'm actively searching for one. These are probably going to go into one, all these little brake line things. Uh, bench plating. Look at all these GM plate screws. Whoa, hoarding, hoarding. Uh, yeah, we can't really do nothing with that. But this, you know, we cleaned up a little bit over here, but it's still a mess. But yeah, it will go better in time. We might do one electrical through that next. We'll pull all this shit out. Electrical from the plastic plugs. And being that the hood in this wagon is just totally shot, we can go work on the hood, which is kind of awesome. We don't have to worry about scratching it. <laughs> Props to having old crappy car. Well, crappy paint on car. Car is not crappy, but paint is. All right, so this can go too. Yeah, we gotta make stuff happen. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. And with time, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And maybe when you see everything organized, you'll stop collecting stuff. I'll be the other pro to that, and or and or you will uh, find stuff to sell, which should be good because every. Everyone seems to want to buy other people's crap, more or less that stuff. Clips. All right. Oh, I got more of these. So yeah, that's gonna be nice if I do that. All right, off to work. Look at that though. I can't believe it. Whoa, breaking stuff. I never would have imagined. Where's my torch? Uh, that's what they call it. Water in Australia and England. My torch. I think in Canada too. All right, it's not the point of the video. We have a Matco toolbox. Look at this thing, old junky one from whatever. Stickers all over it. Uh, I don't know how old this thing is, 80s. But to get the drawers out, it's annoying. Not like a snap-on, you know, the little flip things with, because this is a slider draw, it sucks. I really need to get a different toolbox and sell this one. Uh, but here's the clip we're talking about right here. Have a little window. And then the clip is curved over here. What you got to do is you got to put the clip on this way. It's going to be popped up. You get a screwdriver. Where'd my little screwdriver go? I don't know, but just use pick tool, for example. Put a screwdriver like over here. Bang on it. Pop. On this way. 
that clips on. I always forget how to do it and it gives me a pain in the ass because I reorganized my toolbox and now that box I put over there is no good. It sits too high and it keeps catching on the drawer. So uh, I'm going to have to do something about that. But this side is not clipped and hopefully we can clip it in that tight confined space. And it's 100% uh, humidity and raining and every possible other thing that could be is it all right let's try to find this clip and i'll try to show you how to get that clip on yeah pain in the ass in these toolboxes if you have one of these things just get rid of it man get ball bearings aha uh -huh, here is the clip we found it on our quality snap-on toolbox it's rusting but it's a whole nother story what well, doesn't rust in that this climate so you get a screwdriver actually you should get a smaller one i don't know what i did with mine though i was looking for my torch and uh I left it somewhere. All right, so here we go over here. Excuse my tight confined area where you can't see shit, but this is what I gotta do with living in a place like this. I can't move the car outside right now because it's monsoon rain and the person's gonna come back and park in the spot where the wagon's gonna go. It's gonna be here in a minute, so it's not gonna work out. So let me pull this slide out. It has to go all the way out as far as you can. And then we can, uh, Make something happen to all this shit. See what I gotta go through here in this shit? Look where I'm working over here. Really? Anybody watching this, you go, why are you working like that? They don't know the freaking story. They don't know what kind of place this is. Oh, here's my little window right over there. I see it now. But this uh, slide has to come out more. So let me do that and I'll be back with you. Fucking chains. We're gonna sell these things. They're gonna be on Craigslist for six months like everything else I own. Stay back there. Alright, now nope, they're going to come back over again. Uh, so there's a hole or clips down here somewhere. Let me try to make this happen. Oh, you missed it because we got fucking chains. Fucking chains. World's angriest man again. But, um, you use a small screwdriver like this. Narrowest one you can. And you just tap around that freaking clip. Tap around until it locks on. What a pain in the ass design. We just stabbed our wagon over there. We did. Oh man. See what you mean? Well, that's what kind of situation it is when you get, live in a place like this. You just damage your shit. So, that's how you do it. Get a snap on box. Don't buy an old ancient macro toolbox. What the hell were we thinking 10 years ago? Kind of situation. Oh, I got a toolbox for sale. Alright, I'll buy a crappy one for my job. And, uh, yeah, we worked out of this thing for a couple of years. Should have just sold it. Now it's just a crap collector. So you do it.